Thank you for joining me. This section is all about what you can expect from a face-to-face -face consultation. Once you complete this online pre-consultation, if you decide that you definitely are interested in plastic surgery, then the next step would be to schedule a face-to-face -face consultation in my office in Troy, Michigan. And that's where you and I will meet face-to-face -face, uh, and do a consultation uh, where we can really get down to the details of what plastic surgery can do for you. So how does a consultation go? Well, pretty straightforward. My consultation lasts anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes. And it really depends on what you're interested in. If you come in and you've got something very simple, for example, you say, hey, I feel like my chin's a little small and I'm thinking about a chin implant, and that's really the only thing that you're interested in, well, it could take as little as 20 minutes. Uh, if, however, you say, hey, I've had a few children, my breasts and my tummy have really changed a lot, I'm thinking about a mommy makeover, then that's a consultation that can last definitely a bit longer. So anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes is average. It could be anywhere from five to 10 minutes less or more, depending on what you're considering. Now, the first thing that we do during my consultation with you is we go over your medical history. This is extremely important. We wanna make sure that you don't have any red flags or any contraindications to having surgery. And so we'll go over your medical history in depth to make sure that um, I know enough about your medical history to hopefully help you make that decision of whether surgery could be a, a reasonable option for you. Then we'll discuss what cosmetic issues are bothering you. And this is where I encourage you, just be honest with me. Tell me what bothers you, what you'd like to change, um, what your expectations are, You know how you hope to look, how you hope to feel about yourself. This is your time to really bend my ear and tell me everything that you that you are feeling on the inside. And I encourage you to tell me as much as you need to because my goal, no matter what we decide to do, is to hopefully make you happy if you have this surgery. And the more information that I have from you, uh, the better it is. Then we'll discuss your surgical options. Now, sometimes the surgical options are pretty straightforward. You know, Like I said, you come in and you say, hey, I've got a small chin and I want a chin implant. Pretty straightforward what we would recommend. Um, if you're a good candidate. Other people may have kind of more of a vague you know, issue and they say, you know, I, I feel like I look grumpy or I feel like I look older than I really am. In those situations, it may be a number of potential uh, procedures that we can consider and we'll go over all of those in depth with you during the face-to-face -face consultation. Then we'll do a physical exam. Now, unlike your yearly physical that you may have with your family doc or your internist, uh, this is not something that we do a head-to-toe examination, but we will look at those areas that we're gonna focus on for your potential plastic surgery. Uh, when we're all done with the consultation, you will meet with my patient coordinator and receive a price quote for the surgery. This price quote will be separated from the surgeon's fees, which are the fees that you pay to my office if you have surgery, separate from the operating room and the anesthesia fees. And they'll all be written out for you so you uh, know exactly what you pay when and who you pay uh, for each individual uh, thing. Now, some people ask too, are these quotes all inclusive? And it's kind of a difficult question. Uh, it does include your post-op care and it's all written in the, um, uh, in the documents. Uh, but what if you have a complication? Well, if you have a complication, that can change things. Uh, sometimes people, and very rarely, you may have, let's say, a bleeding complication that requires that we bring you back to the operating room. If that's the case, and once again, extremely rare for that to happen, then hopefully your health insurance may pay for it. Same thing with, let's say, a, an infection. Um, but that's not necessarily always the case. Some health insurances won't pay for it, and that's something that you'll want to look into. Um, on top of that, patients ask then, well, will you charge me if I have a consult, uh, complication? And the answer for that is I'm here to take care of you. You know, My goal is not to make as much money off of you as I can or anything like that, but really to make sure that you do fine and I take care of you. My goal is not to benefit from, let's say, a complication or something bad that may happen to you. And the one thing I would promise you is I will be fair with you no matter what happens. I'm here to take care of you as a physician uh, and obviously be fair with you. Um, and then after you receive the quote from my patient coordinator, at that point, if you wanna look at scheduling the surgery, you can do that. Um, typically, uh, depending on the time of year, sometimes we schedule as little as a month or two out, other times it's several months out, and she can go over that with you. So you can schedule at that time, or if you want to, you can 
think about it. You know, I encourage a lot of patients, you know, that surgery is a big decision. You don't have to rush into it and sign up right away. Think about it. Make sure that it makes sense to you. And, you know, you may find that, you know, we find a lot of patients will call back a month later, sometimes six months or even longer after their consultation. They'll say, you know what, I think I'm ready to do it. So take the time that you need then to make your decision for yourself. And sometimes we'll have you come back for a second consultation. Uh, this is most common when people come in uh, for either revision surgery, where they're thinking about uh, fixing something up that they um, had done before, and maybe they don't have their medical records with them, and so we have them come back for a second visit to go over that. Uh, other times we'll have you come back for a second consultation uh, if we maybe didn't have time to, to go over every single issue that you're looking to treat. Um, so, for example, a mommy makeover, you may want a tummy tuck, a breast lift, a, uh, and an augmentation. We may not have time at that time to pick your implant size, in which case that could be a time to come back for a second consultation. So this is kind of the gist of what my consultation looks like. Uh, typically, once again, it's about 30 to 40 minutes on average face-to-face uh, -face time, but the entire time that you spend here could be an hour, sometimes longer. Uh, depending on paperwork and the, and the quotes and all of that. So I hope this was helpful for you, and I hope to see you soon in a face-to-face -face consultation.